construct searches. This podcast is at the intermediate level. It requires some knowledge of Accordance Bible software, but no knowledge of Hebrew or Greek. Accordance's intuitive interface disguises a very sophisticated search engine. One of the best ways to access the power of that search engine is with construct searches. In this podcast, we'll introduce users to construct searches and provide a few basic examples. Construct searches offer users a graphic interface in which they can specify complex relationships among words and harness the full power of Accordance's search engine. Beginning a new construct search is easy. Select the entry box, then open a new simple construct window by typing Command 1. It will automatically link to the search text. This link command indicates the search will be defined in the window titled Simple Construct. The Construct window's graphic interface is divided into element columns, each of which represents a single search term or element, a connection area which specifies the connection among words, and a construct palette. The window also includes a description box in which you can type some notes for yourself in case you decide to save the search. Search arguments are constructed by dragging and dropping items from the construct palette. Columns may contain a word, key number, or individual character and are normally read from left to right. Accordance has three different construct windows available. Select the one that best meets your need. Select a simple construct window to do a simple search of any word or key number in your text. Use a Greek construct window to search Greek or Latin texts. Or use a Hebrew construct window to search a text in any Semitic language. Either of these original language construct windows will also allow us to search by lexical, inflected, or root forms. The construct palette also varies slightly among the three construct windows. Now, the connection items are all the same as is the negation or not command, so what works in one window will work in another. The greatest variation is within the element items, especially the parts of speech, as they vary with each language. Original language constructs will allow users to search for more specific grammatical forms, and all three construct windows allow search terms to be modified by specifying hits, count, or place. Here's how to build a simple construct search. We'll start with a search for a two-word phrase, where the first word is God and the second is loves. The two words must be together and in this order, separated only by a space or perhaps a punctuation mark of some kind. By clicking the Search Both Directions box, we can modify the search so that the words can be in either order, God loves or loves God. We can widen the search by using the within connection item. Each hit still has to contain God and loves and in that order, but now the two words only have to be within five words of each other. And finally, adding an inter connection item limits the search again. Inter stands for intervening and specifies which words can separate God and loves. Here, the only two possibilities are and and any word beginning with WHO. Note that inter can only be used when within is also used. I think that's probably enough examples for you to get the idea. Let's do some construct searches of our own in accordance. To initiate a new construct search, first make sure that you have search by word selected, then simply type command 1. That will open a new simple construct window, and what we're going to do is to search for a phrase that contains either the word God or the word Lord and ends with a word that begins with L-O-V. And to do that, I'll use the wildcard asterisk at the end. In order to make things more interesting, I think I'll go ahead and search in both directions, which will mean I'll be looking for God or Lord loves as well as loves God or Lord. I'll click the search button. And you'll notice here I have the Lord loves, here I have your God loved, and if I scroll down to the New Testament, you can see that we also have loves God. Now it occurs to me that it might be a little faster if I were to detach this tab so that I could drag the construct window over here, and that way you can see the construct window as well as the results from the search. Let's go ahead and we'll make this search just a little bit more complicated. 
Let's add a within command to expand the search so that God or Lord and love have to be somewhere within five words of each other. And we'll make it a three word phrase and we'll make the third word you. Since we're still searching in both directions, that means we're going to find God loves you or you love God. Let's try it. You'll notice there are seven hits and here we have the Lord loves you and we have you love the Lord and hey, this is actually two hits as well as you love the Lord, your God. We'll try and modify this search one more way. I'll slide this within command down and let's go ahead and specify that the words that intervene between these two can only be the word the, or the, if you happen to live in that part of the country. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and say that the phrase can include anything but you in it. So we've modified it in two ways here. Notice that you have love the Lord, but it's followed by your, not you, but your. And here we have again, love the Lord and loving your God. So this search works as well. Now we'll clear all these and we'll do one more search. This search, a key number search. Let's look for any key number. We'll represent that with an asterisk symbol that's followed by another key number. I'm pressing the option key and just simply dragging that over to copy it. And let's say that these two no key numbers have to agree. However, let's say that the word that they were translated by does not agree. Let me explain that again. Two key numbers that agree, each word beside each other. However, the translators for one reason or another chose to translate those two words differently. Let's take a look at the result here. What we've found are 443 places where a particular Semiticism occurs. Surely eat here in the original, if you look at the ID box, says eat, eat. Just as surely die down here says die, die. But since we don't use a double word in order to indicate emphasis in English, we simply add an intensifier like surely or certainly. That's why surely here and surely here have two different key numbers. Well, that's how to do some construct searches. We here at Accordance would love to see more people using construct windows to search. It's easy, it's intuitive, and it's far more powerful than using the regular search entry box. I trust this podcast will encourage more of you to start using this powerful feature. In a future podcast, we'll cover search constructs for grammatically tagged Hebrew and Greek texts. Meanwhile, feel free to experiment on your own. This has been Dr. J for Accordance Bible Software. Thank you for watching this episode of Lighting the Lamp. Thank you.